So I went shopping and I was really surprised that a lot of stores still had holiday stuff out. I mean like a ton of holiday stuff at a couple of them, but it was all like 75 to 90% off. Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space I have a kind of big, so we're going to try to get through it quickly, collective haul. And like I said, some of it is holiday themed stuff and I was really surprised to find it. So I also had guilt free shopping, I had some gift cards and I also had some free rewards points at my favorite store, Home Goods. So let's just jump right into it. The first place that I actually went to was Home Depot and I was there with Chad because we had to get some renovation stuff here for the house. We got a new toilet and some other things and they had some foliage and like uh kind of like bark stuff and some branch stuff on a sale there so I ended up picking up these they are star burke bark birch bark star <laughs> very difficult birch bark ornaments that's what they said so yeah they have birch bark on them I opened one of them up and they're really cute I don't know like I think that they you could use these for any season so I really kind of like them they're on like an 18 inch stem I don't know what I'm going to do with them but they were regularly like $6.99 they marked them down half off initially so they were like $3.50 and then they were half off of that so what was that that's like $1.75 and when I got to the register they rang up for two in a pack for $1.08 so that was pretty good and then the next thing I got from there is this. It is this large boxwood ball with the little holly berries all over it. And it was set over like where they had really cleared out all of their like holiday ornaments and things like that. And I took it up to the register because it didn't have a price on it. And the girl was like, I don't know where that's even from. So she called the department and the guy said, yeah, that broke off of something. So I'm going to throw it away. Do you want it? <laughs> I said, yeah, I want it. And I go, uh, is it going to be cheap? Because you can have it. I'm going to throw it away. So they gave it to me for free, which I thought was great because a box football at like Hobby Lobby, like this size, probably eight bucks. So yeah, I was really happy on this. I think I'm going to do a DIY with it next year or something. Make, make like my own tote broyery. I don't know. You know me, who knows what I'll do with it. But for right now, it was sitting on that table over there and I thought it was just cute. So that's it for Home Depot of all places to go to find stuff. The next place that I ended up being at was Target. And Target didn't have hardly anything. A lot of times they put things out to be at donation like Goodwill or whatever. But they did have this A, which is a metal A, and it's magnetic on the bottom. My mother's first name starts with an A. It shows on here that they used it to hang your stockings, or they hung them on the stocking, or of course it's got the loop because it's an ornament. But it's magnetic, so you could do anything with it for a DIY. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out something for it for next year for her for a DIY instead of just giving it to her for an ornament. And it was uh, regularly $5, and I ended up giving it for $50 cents so that was pretty good then I ended up getting these these are a whole set of decorative corks they say it's vase filler however I use corks and I always have trouble finding them for my homemade Bailey's that I make every holiday season and this has like four different size corks in it and it was on clearance for $4.98 initially I mean all the way down you know that's like their last price that they put on there but it ended up being like half off of that so it was like $2.50 for them and so I ended up picking up these because I have a way to sterilize them so I can use them for actual corks instead of just vase filler. I was really, really happy to get this. Too. So I picked up that and then I ended up picking up these. These are some copper cookie cutters. They are so cute. I'm in love with them. They ended up being like 50 cents a piece. I got three. There's a star and a uh, gingerbread man and a snowman. I wish I would have got four. I'm not going to use these as cookie cutters. They're really cute and you can see they're really big. I'm going to use them in a DIY for next year that I already, I kind of had it planned for this year, but I did so many DIYs that I didn't get to it. So yeah, those was 
pretty good choice. Then next place that I ended up going to was Big Lots. You know, I love my Big Lots. And so I went in there actually looking to see what they had put out already for spring and ours hadn't stocked yet. So I ended up picking up some holiday stuff. There was one aisle that was 90% off. And I was actually leave, almost scary to leave the store. And the lady says, wow, I can't believe I got this stuff 90% off. And I looked at what she had and I was like, where? And she's like, in the back, way off from where it would normally be. So I went over there and I ended up getting this. This swag thing that goes in the door was a dollar eight or was $18.00. Marked down 90% off for $1.80, but it's broken. It had stuff that was broken off the top and everything. And so the cashier, who was also the manager, said she knew it was broken, so she gave me half off the already marked down price. So I got it for 90 cents. And I was like, that's a good deal because I'm probably going to take off this really shiny, sparkly stuff and do something different with it next year. And it's like, Practically free, 90 cents for the form. So that worked out. Then the next thing that I picked up from there, which I got quite a bit from there to tell the truth, was this one roll of ribbon. Now, if you saw my home um, tour, my Christmas home tour, I use ribbon like this on my pillows that were on the couch, the ones that, the pillows that lit up. This is the ribbon that was on it. I made those light up pillows. And this was regularly $6 and you get how much? 12 feet. And so it was marked 90% off, so I got it for 60 cents. So I was really happy to have another piece of this because I can then, you know, add to what I already have. Then next, I ended up picking up several ornaments which I was really surprised. They had lots and lots of boxes. But this particular Big Lots in our area, I don't think that many people buy the seasonal stuff. Like, there's two of them really close to me, like five minutes from my house, maybe seven minutes from my house. But one of them, people don't really buy the seasonal stuff, and they still get as much as the other store does. So the first thing was the Santa outfit uh, ornaments, and they're by the Tidings Collection that there was this year. And I do believe these were, yeah, $6. So it was $0.60 cents to get this. You get two full sets of his clothing and ornaments, so it's six ornaments all together. Then the next thing was these window ornaments that have, they spell out Noel and they have like the little snowman as the O. I'm sorry you guys are getting a glare, but the lighting is bad here today. It's snowing. So um, it's like we don't have good lighting coming through the windows. Um, so anyway, there's three of those in there and they were also $6 and also from the Tidings collection. And so 60 cents for these three. I didn't even see these in the store at the time of Christmas. So... I don't know, maybe they didn't put them out right away. So then the next thing that I ended up getting was also a Tidings Collection. And I love these. They're so cute. I don't know if you'll be able to see them with the glare and with how bad the lighting is. And don't focus on my face. Focus on these. They're little snowmen in little buckets. And like the bottom one has on ear muffs. And then this one has on like a Santa hat that's kind of buffalo check. And then this one, you really can't see his hat all that well, but it's the top hat. And I just think they are so adorable. You know, I love snowmen. I'm a snowman kind of girl. I got these and I probably will be putting them on my tree unless I find something really cool to do with them next year. I just thought they were really, really cute. They only had one of these. They had a ton of the Noel ones um, or else I would have bought more than one of these because they're so cute. And again... 60 cents. Then the next ones were from the Shimmer Collection, and I didn't see these in the store either. I probably wasn't looking for them. Um, but they were also $6, so 60 cents, but you get three penguins in here again. I don't know if it's going to focus real well, but they all have like the mama penguin and a little baby penguin. So I thought that was really cute. My sister really likes penguins. I don't really care for the scarf that's around it, the little blingy scarf, but I don't know. I might take it off and see what it looks like and I might use them for a DIY instead of for ornaments. Then next I ended up getting, and this is still all Big Lots, and this is still, I just got this stuff. I can't believe it. Um, I ended up getting these ornaments. It is a set of what's supposed to be eight ornaments in a box and they were regularly $8, so 80 cents, but it was missing one and the same thing is she's like, oh, it's missing one. It's like broken. Oh. I'll just give you 50% off. So it was supposed to be 80 cents. So I got them for 40 cents. 40 cents. And they're really, really pretty. 
I uh, hope it's not too much of a glare, but I like the Christmas tree one there. I mean, the red ones are pretty too. I'm definitely putting the Christmas trees on my tree next year. And who knows, I might use the red ones for a DIY project. So 40 cents for those. And then I ended up getting these. And da-da, missing another one. And like, seriously, I would have got them with it, out it missing, but they didn't have these with them, you know, a full set. So one's got like little feathers and stuff and rhinestones and then the other one's got uh little trees that are etched in it and it's really cute so another 40 cents and i was like really happy with that so then the next thing still holiday stuff and i have uh, you know stuff from home goods that's not holiday stuff so i was very surprised um I ended up getting was this. It is a pack of shatterproof ornaments and there's 50 in here. This were these were regularly priced $16. So 90% off of this for $1.60. I am definitely not putting these on my tree. I think next year I'm going to utilize these to make a couple of um of the bigger uh you know reefs out of ornaments i'm not sure yet my mother wanted one so i might make her one for next year so i ended up getting that and then that oh no one more thing from big lots they had several of these shimmering star boxes left and they were regularly 40 dollars and so they were sorry about that my camera shut off so i ended up you getting these to maybe utilize inside of my house like to do some fun stuff. Who knows? We'll see. So that was it for Big Lots. And that's a lot of stuff for, I mean, at this late in the game. It's ridiculous. So then the next place that I ended up going was my favorite store of all times. If you are new here, that is Home Goods. I could live in that store. Literally, if they combine Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Target I into one building, I live there. I would stay inside of that store and redecorate it every day so my house it, my house will look different all the time. I'm not kidding. You guys think I'm playing, but I love those places so much. So the first thing I ended up getting, I've altered already. And if you saw this video, you know I altered it. However, it was this uh, shaker, cocktail shaker. It was just plain silver all the way up and down. And I put all these little rhinestones on it there's a DIY for that if you want to see it I will link it down below but I'm showing it to you because for this size they had them on clearance for like two three four dollars and there's a ton still there I was there yesterday they had a lot of shakers at home goods just all clearance out I think they got a lot of them because of the new year season and people just didn't buy them I swear I saw at least a 20 at my store so I got this one for I think three dollars it might have been four and then I blinked it all up then I ended up getting this one and I put the cap part back on the top of it so I could show it to you but the cap that goes on the top of this is so damaged this was a little messed up too but I got it to go back on there so I don't know if I'm going to keep this part because it comes off and then it looks like this it looks like a nice vase or cup or whatever but I ended up getting this this was my inspiration to make this one and so I wasn't gonna pay the price of this one it's $30 for a shaker cup like I already have a silver shaker cup that has the drinks etched into it and then I have a red one so I didn't really need another shaker cup but I wanted this blinged out shaker cup so that's why I made my own so this one, they marked all the way down to $7. I think it was 7 6 or 7 And that was because the top was so damaged. It wouldn't even come off here. I literally finally got it off and then got this back on. And I just took it off like this and had it sitting on my bar cart with my Valentine stir sticks in it. And it works perfectly like this. So I thought that was good for, I think it was $7 for this because I already took the sticker off of it. Then... The next thing I ended up picking up didn't look like this exactly. If you remove the bow, that's what it looks like. So I'll show you this side of it. You know, it's just kind of plain. It's got little handles on it. I hope you guys can tell. But it is a wine or a champagne cooler. And I was looking for one just like this a while back. Well, actually, I was 
hoping to get like the shorter one, but I really like this one now. I'm glad I got the taller one. They clearance this out. It still has this sticker on it because I didn't take it off. I put the bow on it for Valentine's Day and it's sitting on my bar cart too. Um, and it was clearance for $8. I don't know. My lighting is so bad right now. I don't think it's going to focus. I think it's still trying to focus on my face. They're 8 bucks. So I thought that was a really, really good deal for this. They say that the regular price of it was 50 50 yeah, 50 And so I think they had it marked for $32, $30 also. And um, then they marked it down to 8 It's marked down again under the 8 So it was probably like 12 and then 8 So I thought that was a really good deal. Then the last thing that I got there I'm in love with. I have been looking for a tray to go on my coffee table here. And I my coffee table is not huge. It's not like one of the really big acrylic ones. It's on the smaller side. It's sitting in front of the love seat if that tells you anything, instead of the sofa, I actually kind of like the area open in the sofa and everybody who comes in and is like, oh, this is a different choice, but I love it. So I wanted a smaller tray and I didn't want one that was going to conflict with colors when I changed and stuff in here. So I kept looking at the ones that had the stones around them, but the stones were so big and they were most of the time you found them, they were broken, but I ended up finding this one. Right now, at both of the home goods that are like 10 minutes from my house, they have these and they have a ton. Like, seriously, I probably counted 12 of these. Some were a little bigger, some were actually rectangular or square, but I got the round one and I like the round gems. They had one that had the double round gems on it. I almost got that one, but then I thought it would might uh, take away when you look at it on the side since it would be sitting here. And it has the little, I don't know if you can see, gem-like feet on these. The other ones used to have like just the silver balls. So I thought it was really, really pretty. And it was $16.99. The price tag's still on, but I blind you guys with the mirror. So yeah, it's going to be sitting right here with some stuff displayed on it. And I'm in love with this. But let me just tell you, I went to one more store and even though I love that tray, I think it's gorgeous and it's going to work out perfect right here. I ended up getting something that I am so in love with. I, I, I went to the store before Home Goods looking for a tray because I had been to Home Goods like maybe three days before I found this tray and they didn't have much anything. So, I have to reach over here to get this. It's a big. So, excuse that I'm sort of coming out of frame. And I'm going to have to struggle to get it here for a second. It's so nice. First of all, the store. At home stores. We have a shopping center that has at home stores, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Tuesday morning. All in the, the it's a, like a strip thing. And, oh my gosh, this is massive i saw this and i went i don't care what else i buy today i'll take everything back as long as i can have this i'm gonna try not to blind you guys i'm pretty sure you're gonna see my ring light and everything but hello this is a big huge mirror so I'm not going to hold it up because you guys will be like blinded and stuff, but hopefully you can see these crystals. I'm going to put some footage in here where I hold the camera. It is a round mirror with crystals embedded. I am going to be utilizing this coming up soon. It is so gorgeous. I am in love with it. It was supposed to be, they had two. One was broken, one was cracked and damaged. Not too bad, it wasn't like cracked across, it was along the edge. And the edge of it, you guys aren't gonna be able to really see it, but it's a black felt. Like the mirror is pretty thick, and then it's, you know, it's not that thick all through. Black felt underneath it. And you can see a little bit of black felt on the side. So right on the edge by the black felt, it was all chipped and stuff in like two or three different spots. It was kind of out of the box box was like really messed up. This box is actually damaged too. So I took this one up and I said, there's only one more back there. It is damaged, all chipped around the side. 
And this one, the box is damaged in the bottom of it. The felt is messed up a little bit. And she goes, okay, I can give you 10% off. And I was like, well, I have a 10% off coupon for the store too. She goes, you can use them both. And I said, oh, okay. Well, there was no price. And the price was on the other box. So we had to go get the other box. Someone had to go get the other box. And it, that was really messed up. And it said $79.99. Well, then she was like, okay, I'll, I'm going to charge you for this one, $59.99, because they're damaged. They're really damaged. And then you can use your 10% off coupon. And that's what she told the cashier, the manager. So I said, okay, I'll take it then, because $80, I still was going to buy it. I'm not lying. I would have bought it <laughs> um, with 10% off the coupon and then 10% off for the box. Well, the cashier got a little confused, I think it was, or whatever. And I tried to explain it to her. I was trying to be really nice and really good about it. I got this $59.99 and then she took 20% off of my whole order. 10% off for the mirror being damaged or the box being damaged because this mirror is really not damaged. It's just the, the felt. And then, um, not felt, it's velvet. It's like velvet. Um, and then she took 10% off with my coupon. And I was like, what? Because I also ended up picking up one other little thing. I should have showed you that first. Sorry, I gotta reach again. I'm so sorry, I was out of frame. I ended up getting this. This is a little Christmas item and it was $9.99 and it was 75% off. They had a ton of Christmas stuff in one of their long aisles. And so I didn't, I was like, oh, I don't need any more Christmas stuff. I just bought this stuff from Big Lots the other day. And so I was like, no, I'm just going to get this because it's really, really cute. I always like these. And so it was supposed to be 75% off, but it's broken on the inside. So they were giving me an extra 10% off this too. So I was like, okay. And I didn't ask for that. She was like, oh, that's broken. We'll give you 10% off. So what I think happened, and I kept trying to explain to her, I don't think it's supposed to be the whole order. You're supposed to give me 10% off of this and then 10% off the order. And she gave me 10% off this. She gave me 10% off the entire order and then another 10% off the entire order. I was like, what? So my entire order ended up costing me $62 for the mirror and this. I was like, okay, you know, I, I can't argue with you anymore. I think you got the price wrong, but I'll take it. So that was the last thing. And oh, I got to take footage and put this in. And I know this video is really long, but you guys, look at this. So gorgeous. At home stores, if you want this, at home stores, they're 80 bucks. Go in there and find one that's a little damaged. They'll give you 10% off. And you can always use 10% off coupon if you register your email with them. They have them available a lot. So that's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't too crazy, but it was a lot of stuff. If you're looking for Clarence stuff that's still holiday themed, try at home stores. Try Big Lots. Um, somebody told me Kmart still had some stuff. I haven't been there yet. Also, if you're looking to pick up some gorgeous trays and stuff like that, Home Goods even has some that are sort of like this that are on Clarence that were damaged. They also have the ones that have the stones around the edge that look more like this on clearance too. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, and sharing my videos. And if you're not a member, I don't know why not. You can see I get into a lot here. We have a lot of fun on this channel. I've got a collab that's going to be coming up and a couple of DIYs. So you don't want to miss those. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little notification bell so you know when I upload. I upload a couple of times a week. I might be up in that, trying to up my game here on YouTube. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. It is Lacey Space, the same way that it is spelled here. And I am going to catch you guys in my next video. And now it's snowing even harder outside. This is getting crazy here. All right, I'll see you later. Bye, loves.